We built a epi clinical epidemiological study in France during the first wave of the pandemic uh, to study the outcomes and the characteristics of patients with the previous lymphoma diagnosis and COVID-19 infection. As first, we described the one-month evolution of these patients and reported that patient, patients aged above 70 and those with a refractory disease have a worse outcome. Then we increase our follow-up to more hospitals, more patients, and to a longer period of time, to six months. And then we showed that, again, there is an impact of um, age, uh, refractory or relapse status of the lymphoma, comorbidities, but also a negative impact of recent um, B-cell depleting therapy on both length of in-hospital stay and also risk of mortality. Uh, so this is the main message of this presentation. This is important because uh, on the, when there is a peak of the epidemics, um, a new wave of infections, it could be discussed to delay the uh, introduction of B-cell depleting therapy in patients with low-grade lymphomas, for example, or to um, stop for a while uh, maintenance th therapy with these treatments uh, since they are associated with a worse evolution of the COVID-19 disease. So this is important. It is also important because um, these patients may not have a good answer to vaccination, and we need to do further studies to analyze the vaccination uh, in patients receiving B cell depleting therapy. So this opens new questions about the uh, management of B cell depleting therapy in patients with lymphoma when there is an epidemic wave of the SARS CoV 2. I think it is important also to mention that B cell depleting therapy are an important treatment in the patients with B cell lymphoma. And of course, uh, the goal is not to say to withdraw this treatment, which has shown is major impact of the evolution of lymphoma. And, uh, so when there is a clinical need for b cell depleting therapy, this treatment should be pursued, of course. But when it is possible to delay it for a while, you know, for example, to allow vaccination, or to uh, withdraw it during maintenance in patients with complete remission, this could be discussed. But of course, when it is um, necessary for induction of lymphoma, for example. In no case, this treatment should be suspended.